five subscribers. Appreciate y'all watching. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Uh, man, it's been a <clears throat> few few weeks since I've been on here, man. I'm, I'm just going to jump around a little bit. I'm going to do what I do best, and that's be a squirrel. Um, but uh, I'm just going to kind of go over you know, a couple of the loads that I've run, what's been going on, um, what's going to be going on, and stuff like that. But <coughs> I wrote a couple things down so I don't forget. Um, the gooseneck trailer is sold. Um, hot shot trailer sold. Boy out of... Uh, Newburn, North Carolina, rode out uh, with his uncle and his dad, uh, come out and checked it out one weekend, and then uh, came back two weekends later and picked it up. Uh, he should be getting started in about, I think he said about a month, um, and I told him to let me know when he got his uh, business license and, uh, and all that squared away. Uh, I give him a shout out. <clears throat> so, uh, some of the loads that uh, I kind of like best, uh, kind of highlights that I took pictures of. I forget to take pictures, guys. So, but we run a load out of Salisbury uh, last week up to uh, Claysburg, PA. Um, picked it up right here in our hometown. Um, Run it up there, I think it was like two, I think it was like 210 a mile. Um, nothing to get excited about, but it was a good load. Um, and I actually took some road video, man, it's just beautiful up there. You know, it's not, it's not like crazy mountains, but it's not like the, the low rolling hills, it's like in between, but it was really nice. <clears throat> picked up a load out of uh, Pittsburgh uh, it took us about an hour and 45 minutes to get over there but it was a damn good paying load going back to Georgia it was um, some duck work for uh, for a damn power plant down in Georgia um, and I don't think I took a picture I'll look see but when I got there what they had on the ground was probably 50 truckloads of what I had. It was, it was crazy. So, um, but yeah, they said they, they bring in like three truckloads a week. So I keep that up here if I run back up toward Pittsburgh. Um, I run some road barriers. I picked up out of Charlotte, put a picture in here. I had to take them up to Durham where they were working on the road up there. And <clears throat> I pulled off. Um, guy told me he was going to lead me in he said now listen you know when we get off this exit here you know you're going to cross a couple lanes of traffic then you're going to have to stop in traffic and back up in between some barriers so we can get you offloaded and just the four wheelers are assholes they're just assholes um you know the problem is is they want the roads fixed and they want them widen but when you're trying to get equipment there they want to blow the horn and don't want to get out of your way and stuff like that so you can offload it's you know, it's shit i've dealt with since i've had my cdls i just i just never understand it but you know the thing is is you do know uh, the <clears throat> the drivers and the four-wheelers that either a have dispatched run uh, a transportation company driven one has family that's driven one because when you need to get over they give you room they flash their lights they you know um they they do what it takes to let you get where you need to be so shout out to those folks ain't many of them um took a load out of uh georgia um up to uh virginia it was a load of insulation that was pretty interesting um 
It went to a uh, it went to a food processing plant. I want to think it was something like uh, ah, hell, I can't remember. It's some damn food processing plant. I'll look it up. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, that load I took down to Georgia uh, with the uh, uh, duck work. This guy comes out there to inspect the load, man. He's got these cool steps. I told my old lady I'd like to get some um, trucker steps or something, but it fits in your side rails on your trailer. Um, so she looked them up. Yeah, they were $499. Yeah, squirrel ain't getting none of those. Um, yeah, there's, should put a picture of those in here. Um, I did get to stay at the Kindling 95 again. Um, and uh, seen some pretty sweet rigs there. I'll throw a couple pictures in. And they swapped out the one on the turntable. It's pink now. So uh, my wife liked it a lot. It was pretty cool. Um, I canceled my hut number because I have no intentions on running anything to New York. Um, if I do, I'll just buy a trip permit, but I don't. Um, <coughs> I did apply for my... Uh, KYU number for Kentucky. Uh, you can get 10 day permits to run through there, uh, but I just went ahead and got the uh, the permanent number there. Um, got that put on the truck. So if I need to run something to Indiana or Ohio, I prefer running through Kentucky. It's just a it's a lot better than running them hills in West Virginia. Not near as hard on the truck or the brakes. Um, Picked up a load of forklifts um, out of Dallas, North Carolina, running down to Georgia. I just love running South Carolina, Georgia, uh, but run them down. And um, so I picked those up <clears throat> that morning, like 8.30, run them straight down. And uh, on the way down, man, I seen a truck burn up on the side of the road, man. Had a little... Uh, Had a little uh, traffic back up there, but uh, <clears throat> didn't take too long to get through it, but yeah, it, it burned up pretty good. So when I get to where I'm going, I have a contact number. So I called the guy twice. I called him like an hour out and told him, you know, traffic was backed up, you know, what my ETA was going to be. And I'd already Google Earth uh, the location, and um, it was going to be tight. And I was trying to get a hold of him to let him know that you might want to move some cars, you know. So I get there. <clears throat> he finally calls me back when I'm pulled up looking for, for the facility. And... Uh, so anyway, I, here's a picture. It's pretty tight in there, but we got her backed in first try. So, um, and then um, we got a load out of Duluth, Georgia, after dropping that one off in Atlanta, back up to Forest City, and uh, <clears throat> I called old boy and said. Uh, Hey, I got this load, man. My ETA is like, you know, 6.30 tonight. You want this tonight or you want it You want it in the morning? He said, uh, let's just do it in the morning. <clears throat> I said, well, it says deliver between 8 and 9. I said, uh, how early do y'all deliver, you know, take delivery? And he said, you know, I, my guy's coming around 7. I was like, y'all got truck parking? He said, he said, no, not normally, but our gate's down being repaired. He said, so just make yourself home. So I stayed... <laughs> I stayed there, but it was pretty cool. It was an old mobile home manufacturing facility, and um, what was on the truck, <clears throat> what I took to them was some uh, chain-driven um, uh, conveyor. Um, not like conveyor belt, but, you know, the, the round conveyors. <clears throat> 
but I stayed there that night, and the next morning I woke up about 5.30, and, and one of the doors was open, but like I said, it used to be an old mobile home manufacturing facility, but what they do now is they do, <clears throat> I mean, they built a whole house in there, but they had these cubes in there, and they wouldn't let me take a picture, but they had these cubes in there, and whenever you look in the cubes, it was a set of stairs that went up to a landing and turned and went up to an, another one, and I was like, what is that? You know, and he said, this is a stairwell for a hotel, but, uh, pretty well built and most of it built by robots. Um, that's probably why they wouldn't let me take any pictures, but, uh, but it was pretty cool. He said, yeah, we, we do stuff for hotels, you know, high rises, you know, houses, you know, whatever they order it, we build it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so, but, um, not too bad last couple of weeks um wife rode with me for a week um she's come on to dispatch um has done a good job finding some good load that load out of duluth up to forest city uh, it was 489 a mile um that was a real good load um so I only had a dead head like 30 miles to get it out of Atlanta. So uh, she she's doing real good filling out the uh, packets for the brokers we have to sign up with. Um, man, she's turned uh, that one room in the house to an office. Went through everything I've already done, refiled everything. So it's kind of hard when you, you know, you, you start a business on your own and, um, trying to keep up with the paperwork end of it, booking your own loads, truck maintenance, driving it, you know, it's a lot. So, you know, when when you can have someone else, whether it be a family member, spouse, whatever, help you out, um, it really, uh, it really makes a difference. Um, so, uh, like I say, she rode with me for a week. She didn't mind the riding. She didn't mind anything about it except for the bathroom breaks because the uh, old squirrel don't stop very often. Um, but, uh, you know, you can't just whip one of these damn things in the damn Circle K or, uh, or uh, you know, an Exxon or something like that. You know, you got to find somewhere to stop, you know. And as a guy, you know, you just get out and kick a tire, squirt the dirt. You know, nobody knows the wiser you know but you know when you're a woman you know it's just not that easy so but anyway so that was a couple weeks in a nutshell just some of the loads i've been running like i say i, I keep forgetting to take pictures but i'll try to do a little bit better job but uh but anyway appreciate y'all stay in tune watching checking it out um like subscribe share um you know you five subscribers i mean y'all need to Y'all need to help me out a little bit. So, <laughs> But anyway, uh, we'll see you on the next one later.